Liz Cheney, the co-chair of the January 6th committee, is having her congressional career thankfully come to an end. The beginning of that end happened last night when she lost a primary challenge to her seat to Harriet Hagman, who will win come November because Wyoming is a solid red state. When Donald Trump endorsed Harriet, Liz Cheney responded on Twitter saying, here's a soundbite for you, bring it. <laughs> well, it was brought, so here's a little soundbite for you. Liz, you're fired, get out of here, get out of here. Adam Kinzinger didn't want to waste his time running for re-election because he knew that he would lose too, so he's going to be out of his seat come January as well, but I'm sure that he's not going to go away, and I'm positive that CNN's going to hire him as a contributor, and he'll continue to do what he always does, complain about Donald Trump every day. And a friendly reminder, only 10 Republicans in the House voted to impeach Donald Trump after the mostly peaceful protest on January 6th. There are 435 total members in the House of Representatives. At the time, there were 212 Republicans. So if you do the math, less than 5% of the Republicans turned against him. Most of them, like Adam Kinzinger, who cried at the impeachment hearings, you may recall, decided not to bother running for re-election because they knew that they would lose. Out of those who tried, all of them got primaried, and out of those, all but two lost. Instead of going to work for CNN or MSNBC like Adam Kinzinger undoubtedly will, it looks like Liz Cheney is planning to run for president in 2024. The great and original champion of our party, Abraham Lincoln, was defeated in elections for the Senate and the House before he won the most important election of all. Lincoln ultimately prevailed, he saved our union, and he defined our obligation as Americans for all of history. Well, it's important to have a hobby, so I hope you have fun. But she will have at least one person voting for her, her father, Dick Cheney, who endorsed her re-election campaign for her congressional seat in a sad and bizarre video. Liz is fearless. She never backs down from the fight. There is nothing more important she will ever do than lead the effort to make sure Donald Trump is never again near the Oval Office. I actually thought that Dick Cheney was dead, which shows how irrelevant he is in today's Republican Party, but it bears that, like his role model, Darth Vader, he too has some advanced life extension technology. So basically, Donald Trump ended not only the Bush political dynasty, remember when he humiliated Jeb Bush when the Bush crime family thought that he could be the next president back in 2016? This is a tough business oh, to yeah. run for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pr real tough. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting Jeb, yeah. your way to well, the let's presidency. let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at 3. So, Doesn't so far matter. I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. Then shortly afterward, he humiliated Hillary Clinton and put an end to the Clinton dynasty. And now he put an end to the Cheney dynasty because come January, Liz Cheney is unemployed as well. Of course, the FBI raided his home last week because the January 6 hearings didn't tarnish his image enough to prevent him from possibly running again in 2024. So as you know, they're saying that he stole nuclear secrets to sell to the Russians and It'll turn out that whatever documents he has were declassified, and it's another witch hunt. And there are even some Democrats who are admitting that if the National Archives challenges Trump on whether or not some documents were declassified, that the Supreme Court will rule in Donald Trump's favor that they were. Speaking of classified documents, oftentimes the CIA and the FBI will declassify documents decades after an issue isn't a hot topic anymore oftentimes proving that the conspiracy theorists were right. Like the MKUltra documents, the declassified, admitted CIA mind control experiments. So in honor of declassified conspiracy facts, I've released my new MKUltra shirt, which you can order from my online store at marknice.com and click the link in the description below. It's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie. Or if that's not your style, be sure to check out my new climate change shirt or any of my other awesome designs. Most available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.